the sun rises over Alaska's Chugach mountain range. Yeah, what a miserable damn night, but this weather broke. What a beautiful morning. In the last 24 hours. Boy, it's like half grass, half snow. Mike Kennedy has flown a recon plane. Let's get going. Muscled through remote boreal forest in an ATV. First obstacle is just getting across here without ending up in the water. Crossed a melting lake. <laughs> and tracked through the frozen heart of wolf country. If we are where we think we are, we got across that lake, we came across this field right here. Should be right here. All in pursuit of a $15,000 payday to repossess a Piper Super Cub deep in the Alaskan wilderness. Find this plane. Way to get the hell out of here. with snowshoes. My legs flipping rubber. Breaking trail in three feet of snow is agonizing work. So much for staying on top of this crust. But for Mike, an adrenaline junkie who has repoed jets at gunpoint from foreign military, a little snow has fat chance of turning him back. Trees and stuff, you can walk right past it and never notice it, and then be miles on the other side. Found it, man. <laughs> 24 hours. It's taking some effort to haul that in here. Mike finally arrives at the remote hangar. Hopefully there's an airplane in it. What a mucky ass mess. But good thing I brought tools. Voila. something we're actually going to be able to move. It doesn't look too bad. Mike has the plane. But you know, it's been sitting through a brutal Alaskan winter. Who knows what kind of shape it's in. The question is, will it fly? The airplane's clean. It's very well equipped. It's got nice instrumentation in it. You know, all indications look like it's in pretty good shape. All we can do now is take it outside and see if we can get this thing running. Maybe we'll get out of here today. Set that thing down. We get on either side of this thing, pull it out so we're moving straight. Before he can do anything else, Mike needs to be sure the plane will start. There's fuel in it. Battery's stone dead. We don't have any voltage at all. Which means we're going to have to hand prop this thing. You know, if you, thing is, you turn the master on, you prime it, crack the throttle a little bit, you just whoosh, swing it through. But if for some reason you got a little more throttle than you thought you had, you got a 150 horse weed eater here that's coming after you. So you, you want to tie it down or chalk the wheels really good or something. To avoid a gruesome pulverizing by the prop, he first secures the plane to the ground. Push the mixture in, crack the throttle just a tiny bit, pull the primer out.
If the props don't spin, he'll be two days from civilization with no rations and nightfall coming on. This isn't good. 